Hello YouTube, welcome back to another video. You may remember this, I built some time ago. It's the PLL FM transmitter one watt output. And I said back then it is a very good driver board for powering an amplifier. So to follow it up, I saw this on eBay. It's a 100 watt FM amplifier. Uh, it uses the transistor MRF 101. Uh, this is the parts there. And there's the kit. Nice board on there. Get the parts, let's build it up and see how we get on. Right, so let's move that out of the way. Let's have a look what we've got in here. So, a circuit board. Very nice. Right, we'll Bring a bit down, there's our main output transistor there, the MRF 101. Big capacitor there. Here's a wire for making our RF coils. And then we've got loads of these little bits here, which I think I'll be using tweezers for. I think that's going to be a bit fiddly. But first of all, we've got a heat sink here. And I'm going to mount that on there, get that screwed down on there. So when I'm soldering, the ball's not all moving around it all over the place, it's got a bit of weight to it. So let's do that first. So there we are, all mounted onto our heat sink. Okay, let's just screw it on. So, ready for the start of the components. Okay, so the first one is R1, 82R, resistor. Here it is, R1, absolutely tiny, look at that. And it goes just there, R1. This would be fun soldering. Wish me luck. So we've got our first resistor on. Just like I thought, really fiddly. And really steady hands, which I haven't got. But yeah, let's crack on the rest. Seven to that. That's one K.
So finally we're on our last RF capacitor now. Tiny thing. Let's get him on there. All right, some bigger caps now. Less fiddly. One there, two, two there. Just going to add a little bit of flux to the board. Okay. And for our two little caps. Okay, let's see what's next. Parts list here. We have U1. Looks like a voltage regulator. I know where that goes. It's right there. U1. Next, we have D1, silicon diode, D1, goes straight there. And once again, it's one of our tiny little friends, look. Absolutely tiny. So let's pop him out his case and get it on there. Also, make sure we get it around the right way. Now for a little ferrite bead, it has two windings. All right, so not many bits left now. We've got a main transistor, a wire for RF coils, and this bit is going on now, which is a little red LED. It goes right there. So, let's get out his case and get him on there. They had a little notch on the corner there. So, yeah. So there we are, all four coils made. And now let's get them on there. Right, so we finished building our amplifier. A little bit tricky. I definitely need a smaller soldering iron. Okay, uh, need to connect up to RF input with our one watt transmitter and our output up to a power meter and dummy load. But also we need our power supply, this takes 48 volts and our transmitter is 12 to 15. So let's get all that put together. Right, 
Right, okay, so it's all set up on the bench now. Uh, we've got our power supply putting our 48 volts into our amplifier. Uh, we've got our cooling fan there because I found this does get rather warm, especially that in there. And uh, our transmitter here, putting our one watt into our amp. Uh, the transmitter has been driven on this power supply here, which is 12 volts. And of course, we've got a power meter and frequency counter, and also a radio to test the audio a bit later on. Right, so let's get it powered up and see what it's like. Right, okay, so let's test our amplifier out. Let's get the amp plugged in first. Should have a red, red LED on there, yeah, it's on. So amp's on, let's turn our transmitter on. We just have to wait for a green LED on here. And we should see our power go up on there. See what frequency we're on. And we're on, oh, so that's pretty much bang on 102 to me. So we'll just wait for a green LED to come on. There we are. So we're locked on frequency. And we're pretty much bang on 100 watts there. That looks good to me. We're looking at the 200 watt scale. Lovely. Just got a fan running. This thing's nice and cool. I uh, will put all this into a box. Make it look much nicer. It'll be a nice looking rig. Lovely. Right, so let's test our audio. So I've picked up to my laptop, this part here, we should hear the audio. <coughs> there we go. Sounds fine. Leave a link in the description where you can buy the transmitter and the amp fine, both come in kit form. Yeah, nice kits. Hope you like the video, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one.